Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos Ernesto. I'm glad that you are here. Yes. yes. Okay. I hope today you can participate, right? Very good. Jose Miguel. Oh, he's is a listener right now. Okay. Okay, too. Eulisa, too. Edwin, hello. Edwin, how are you today? Oh, he's still connecting the audio. Okay, no problem. How are you doing, everybody? I hope everybody is okay here. Yeah. Are you guys okay tonight? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice, nice. I was just giving some time for everybody to join, all right? But we're going to start today with some feedback, okay? Let's start by talking about what I wrote today in the WhatsApp, okay? And the WhatsApp, I sent you a message to encourage you, okay? To, I need, um, you to consider that uh, we are connected or we are uh, willing to support you in this objective of learning English, all right? This is my purpose when I wrote the message I sent, okay? Um, I always try to encourage my class for they to participate. Remember that the rules in the classroom of teacher Beteta is listen, respect, and participate, okay? Because I think this uh, three rules helps us to, um, I mean, help us to achieve our goal, okay? To achieve our goal. So listen, respect, and participate. Mm -hmm. These are our rules here. So, um, did you see the message I sent? The last one. I'm sorry? The, you say the message huh? and I ask if the last one, Yes, I was I was um pushing you, okay? I was encouraging you. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yes, it's because um uh, you know, the requirements for means of word are really um how can we say strict and um it's really important for us to keep up and the goal of learning English and finish this course, okay? I will be, I will feel sad if uh, because of attendance, you don't get your goal, right? So I think 
um, we're going to curarnos en salud, right? Um, please don't skip any class, okay? Don't skip any class. At least um, connect as a listener, but if it is only for something that you can face up, okay? I think you should practice with us, okay? You should practice with us. All right, people. So if we organize our time better, I think we are going to do, um, I mean, we are going to accomplish these requirements, okay? I'm willing to support you to give all my help and also to provide you with the tools to learn, okay? Um, actually, today we are going to start with our feedback with our feedback. Our feedback today is about the PLC, okay? PLC. Do you re I'm sorry guys, just give me one second. Do you remember what are the four elements um, of the marketing mix? Yes? Do you remember the stages of the PLC? <laughs> okay, this is why we need this kind of feedbacks, all right? Uh -huh. The PLC, remember you put... Uh, growth. Okay, that's uh, the second. Uh -huh. That's the second stage, yeah. very good. Uh, maturity. Okay, that's the third uh, one. Market introduction, right? Yes, that's the first one. Mm -hmm. That's the first stage. Mm -hmm. Decline. Yes, correct. The decline of a product. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, we said that when we are in a company that has a product in the decline stage, they try or we as marketing team try to create new strategies to reintroduce right, our product in uh, the market. It could be renewing, it could it could be rebranding. Uh, we could just to re redesign our product or to create a new concept, right? Add some features to our product. And then we are going to relaunch a new product or the same product with a different concept. Is it? Isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, yes it is. And from these stages, which one is the most important? Which one is the most important part of the PLC? According to you, obviously. I believe that the first stage, marketing introduction, because is the better stage, the probe of the probe. Okay, if you do it well, then you assure the success, right? Uh -huh. If you do it with the best strategies, um, calculating the behavior of the market, calculating correctly your production costs, and also your pricing strategies, and also your all your marketing strategies, your business plan, right? Then you are going to assure your success. Very good. Thank you very much, Ana Lorena. Okay, people. So... Now we are going to continue with the uh, place and promotion strategies, but we want to see just a little bit. We want to practice just a little of uh, um, grammar, okay, of grammar, because we were studying the word enough, okay? Enough is an adverb, and it means like the right amount if we are saying it as a quantifier, but it's also an adverb that um, means a, the necessary degree of something, okay? The necessary amount of something, no less, no more, okay? Not excedent or exceeding, right? But the perfect amount, the perfect degree of something. Okay, then we said, something about enough, okay? A ver, voy a preguntar, um, 
¿Cómo podemos definir? How can we define enough? Así como lo acabo de explicar yo. How can we define the word enough? Uh, when somebody is asking another person, uh, uh, stay calm. Something like that. Okay. Um, can you give us an example when somebody is asking for that? I don't know. In an argument, he 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 needs to 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 enough. Okay. And, and calm down. Like to put an end of the bad attitude. Mm. Maybe the, the, the two attitudes, the, the attitude and the, and the the conversation. Enough because the, this could be a, a worse. Oh, okay. Okay. Then you use the word enough just to put an end of a situation that can become worse. All right. Good. That's yes, good. In this, in this situation, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, is there an expression that you have ever heard about these situations that you remember? It's funny for me because uh, I learned this uh, this word uh, uh, playing a PS3. Oh, okay. got, got a word. Uh, right, and say enough, right? Or something like that. Yes. <laughs> Okay, enough is ya basta, okay, ya basta in that situation, and it's stopping somebody or stopping a situation, okay, yes, you're right, and yes, we use it for that too, uh, so in that case, we use like a verb before enough, right, like do, have done, right, or you have done enough, you have said enough, you have, I don't know, whatever, practiced enough, whatever you want to say. Okay, guys, so, alguien más, is there anyone else who wants to give a definition of enough? What is enough? I'm sorry? Exactly. That's the, that is the translation in Spanish, right? Yes, that's in Spanish, the word suficiente. Yes, you're right. So we have the right amount or we have the right degree of something. Okay, so it could be quantifier, right? like an adjective or an adverb too. And it's always mo always modifying a noun, an adjective, or a verb. Remember that, that an adverb can modify a noun, an adjective, or a, or a verb. This is your class number 13, okay? This is your class number 13. And the topic today is how to use enough with nouns, okay? How to use enough with nouns and this is going to be in the context of the promotion strategies in our manual okay so the objective is to practice how to use enough with nouns in sentences we could use enough in affirmative sentences as we can do it in negative sentences we can also use enough in questions, right? If you are asking to someone um, about the degree of something or the uh, degree of the quality of something or the degree of the action of something or somebody, okay? So this is why we need to practice how to use enough in sentences and questions. So our agenda tonight will be, um, our feedback was about product price place and promotion strategies. We want to see just a conversation about negotiation, negotiating the price. It's a conversation on the net that it, it is interesting because it's really simple. I mean, it goes right to the point how to negotiate the price of something in 
a real situation and a very simple situation, everyday English, okay? Then we are going to see something just to finish or complete the vocabulary of place and promotion in our manuals. And we are doing a match activity. Then we are going to use this adverb, enough, with nouns. Then we have um, a discussion, not on the platform, but here and Zoom. And then we are going to talk about the homework assignment, okay? The session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro, okay? So you are welcome to stay with me after the class, your 10 minutes, Karen, all right? Can count on you, Karen, to stay? Yes? All right, very good, very good. Okay, people, so what is an adjective? Do you remember what an adjective is? ¿Alguien recuerda? ¿Qué es un adjetivo así? Mm, por casualidad, que se nos it's, venga a la mente. It's described the noun. Exactly, it's a word to describe the nouns. Very good, it describes what? It describes qualities, features, and appearance, personal traits of someone, right? So those are adjectives. These words describe, okay? This word describes. Um, if we're talking about features, mm, we are describing like colors. What else? Sizes. Mm -hmm. What Size. else? The quantity, mm -hmm. feelings, feelings. Okay, states. Mm -hmm. Weight, Maybe. traits. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, can you define what a product is? What is a product? A simple Maybe definition. A, a thing or service that uh, satisfying, satisfying, uh, satisfies, satisfies a necessity of the client or consumer. Very good, very good. So it could be a thing, tangible, right? And also another thing that is intangible. Yeah, we could say services or something online like software or things that we cannot touch, right? So yes, and we offer these in our business in a profitable, uh, sorry, in a profitable way, okay? This is a product, something that I produce to satisfy or to meet the needs of the customers. Yes, thank you, Lori, thank you. Okay, uh, Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson, um, I, well, I was wondering, for example, can you describe a famous brand of coffee in El Salvador? Can you describe by color, size, price, whatever you wanna say? Okay. Mm, coffee Rico or Rico Coffee? Okay. Uh, can you describe it? Okay. For example, I tell you, oh, okay, what's the best coffee in El Salvador? And you told me, ah, Cafe Rico. And which one is that? So describe it to me to find it out in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. It's complicated because I don't like coffee, <laughs> but I try it. But okay. I try it. Okay. And, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, coffee Rico. What color is the the package? I don't, I don't know. Do they sell? Do they sell them by sachet, by bottles? I don't know, uh, powder or ground. What's the way they sell it? Uh, I don't know. 
okay. I never, never buy coffee. coffee. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I Change think, the product. Right. Okay. Tell me one product that you offer and you want to recommend us to buy it. It's a mm. sin, don't taste the coffee. No, he doesn't what? like he says. What do you think? Is he lying? <laughs> no. It's unbelievable, Nelson. It's unbelievable. No. Yeah. Oh, the taste. Um, I don't know. I don't like the taste. Okay, bitter uh, things. Cosas yeah. amargas, bitter things. Yeah, you don't yeah. like bitter things. Okay. Mm. All right. No problem. No problem. Wilbur has the problem. Okay. <laughs> because he loves, <laughs> he loves coffee. Yeah. No. But now, can you recommend something that you like and you will say, mm, you have to buy this product because it is this and this and that? For example, juice. Okay. And for example, petit. <laughs> Es, ah, pero no es salvadoreña. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can find <laughs> it. It we can find it on the supermarket, right? Do you okay. know petit guys? Do you know do you know the petit juices? Do you know? Have yes, you ever yes. tried them? Have you ever tasted them? I tasted. All right. I drink coffee, so. post cafe. I drink coffee, post cafe. I, I I buy in the supermarket. Okay, post cafe. The, All right. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. I buy in the supermarket. Is there any uh, promotion the, in the supermarket right now? Maybe. Um, yes. Uh, the, the, uh, yes. Uh, I, I promotion in the supermarket for the time. Um, Time, uh, I'm sorry, uh, how do you say, uh, I guess it's 10 centavos abajo. Oh, okay, 10 cents less. 10 cents, cents less. less. Uh, mm -hmm. 10 cents less uh, for the box, the 60. Sachets. Yes. All right. Very good. But now let's try to describe the petit juices. Lorena, help us. Uh, maybe uh, these juice have 355 milliliters. Oh, and the presentation very is, <laughs> is a, a fierce. A can, but have but also have a, a bottle, a plastic bottle. Uh, I I remember that uh, 50, 100, uh, 500 uh, milliliters. Okay, uh, milliliters. Uh, because I believe that is a uh, uh, seventy cent. I believe <laughs> of okay. the can. Very good. The prices, the size, the presentations. Very good, Lori. Very uh, good. Have some uh, flavor, uh, apple. Um, um, Peach. I don't know. Uh -huh. Pineapple. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Well, can someone else describe just a little bit about petit juices? Imagínense que lo están recomendando ahorita y me dicen ustedes, mire, teacher, ahorita los petit están en promoción en el supermarket, en el supermercado. Y, ay, pero yo no los conozco, les voy a decir, but I don't know which ones uh, these juices are. How do they taste? Can you describe the taste? Can you describe um, the, um, let's say, the presentations as Lorena did? Okay. Vamos a ver, Salvador, are you there? Not yet, maybe he's driving. Okay, Edwin, please describe the petit juices. 
in your own opinion and you're recommending? Uh, because the flavor is cool when you test that uh, you can stop to drink and the price is good and the presentation in the can is good too. Right, very good, very good. So um, we have like this Tetra Pak and the mini Tetra Pak, right? We have also the cans, bottles. I don't know exactly because I don't consume those kind of petite juices, but I have seen them, I have seen them. So imagine now about another product and let's think about um, chamomile tea, chamomile tea, te de manzanilla, chamomile tea. Um, and I asked you, Hosman, for example, uh, can you rec recommend any brand of chamomile tea in the supermarket? Oh, difficult. <laughs> imagine, imagine that I am. <laughs> and you tell me, buy chamomile tea, right? And then you explain what chamomile, uh, chamomile tea does or is. Okay, it, uh, myself is a uh, AC prepare. And uh, this effect is a uh, one moment and relaxing in the body. Or other action the body, um, uh, and it's with and um, gripe, no. Okay, flu uh, with the flu. With the flu, and use the tea the manzanita is the is the very good. Chamomile. Uh, Chamomile. Chamomile. Mm -hmm. Chamomile. Chamomile. Uh, Chamomile. Chamomile. With uh, uh, miel. Honey. Honey. Uh, with honey is very relaxing and. The uh, and sleep and um, before your body uh, met. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but great description, um, great description. Yeah. You are talking about all the characteristics of this product by what it does, okay? It, the effects of consuming the chamomile tea. Very good. So now, Rafael, describe a product that you want to recommend to your classmates um, on the net, okay? On the net. Maybe there is an application where they can learn English. Describe this application where they can learn English. Recomiéndeme una para ellos, right? Um, what kind of? Of product. Uh, an application on the net, okay? An application, a free app, yeah? An app, software, software. to learn the English. On Duolingo, for example. Okay, then describe it. Uh, it's a, a app uh, designed to learn English. Uh, Pro uh, of the repeat the the lessons uh, many times and I don't know. Well. <laughs> Va, en español pensemos ahorita los voy a traer a español aunque no debemos hacerlo, pero. Imaginémonos en español que Josman viene y donde Rafael y le dice, mira, o sea, de que no sé con el vocabulario, me falta vocabulario y, y fíjate que la teacher nos pone así bien, bien pesado para que hablemos. ¿Dónde crees que yo puedo meterme para, para mejorar en mi vocabulario? Y usted tiene la mejor donde usted está practicando, Rafael. ¿Ok? Entonces viene usted y la quiere recomendar a Josman. Something like that. Mm, pero en español o en inglés? Que no, en inglés. No, solo lo estaba <laughs> ubicando en el contexto. Ok, en inglés. En es English. que sí, Let's sí le entendí, en pero... Sí, en español. <laughs> no, Spanish. Uh, is application for learn uh, English, but I think it's, it's very basic. Basic, ok. Basic. Um, 
the advantage of this platform is uh, you can repeat and repeat and repeat again. And that's the way to learn the uh, language. Mm -hmm. um, for example, uh, in my case, I learned uh, the basic uh, in this platform because when you practice English and go up of the level, uh, the tendency is uh, don't touch the, the lessons uh, what you, you take in the lower levels and you practice in this platform that lessons. Okay, how much does it cost? Um, well, some, someone give me a, a de, no me acuerdo como se llama la, no, it's no, free. No, 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 no. Hmm? Is it for it's free? free cost? It's free, but uh, if you want to grade the the premium, the, the premium, it have a cost. Okay, it has like a plan. Yes. All oh, right, very good. So you see the prices, the functions, and also the qualities of this product has been described by Rafael. So everybody can go and check this application, right? So good, very good. So now let's go to the, um, uh, to the manual, okay? To the manual and the manual, we will find that when we describe the enough degree, for example, if I say, how much does it cost? Is it expensive? Well, it's expensive enough, right? Ah, then you are saying, it costs a lot of money, but it is worthy, okay? It is worthy. So you are thinking about uh, expressing the price, but it doesn't matter that it is expensive because it provides you what, um, they are offering, okay? It's a very good app, for example, if we are talking about the app. Um, so if we talk about the degree of um, something, any quality of a noun, of a person, of, or a thing, place, whatever you wanna say, then we use enough. So let's go and see. And this is on page 23, okay? On page, yeah. tell me. The word, uh, word. Uh, it's optional only on uh, when we are talking about money. The word the, with, which the word? The word worth, worth. No, not exactly. Not exactly no. because okay. God is worthy. Okay, worthy of praise, for example. Uh -huh. So mm, you are worthy of your salary. Okay, because you earn it. You work for getting it. So it's not only for money. Um, it's also for a, um, the quality, okay? Um, like, okay, we're going to find some examples later, all right? Allow me to find some other examples. But yeah, it's not only for money. It's about qualities too. All right. Uh, value, value not for money. Uh, worth is something valuable, not only for money, uh, by the- Include the attitude. Attitudes, yes, the behavior, mm -hmm. yes. There, there you can think about also the human values like cooperation, collaboration, I don't know, a, a solidarity, a sorority now, right? So those kind of things. So yes, uh, we can talk about those kind of values too, not only money. All right, people. So let's go and check on page 23, the box where we have some examples, how to use enough with nouns in the context of uh, the place strategy, okay? Play strategy. Remember that the play strategy is about the um, activities to distribute the product or to make the products available for customers. So let's go over there and let's uh, read this box as a manner of examples. This has been taken, I think, from the uh, plays and promotion strategies.
Okay, here we go. How to use enough with nouns? How to use enough with nouns? Mm -hmm. We use enough as a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. Yeah, it can also be used before a noun. Um, maybe four classes ago, we saw how to use it with the adjectives and verbs. Now we are going to see how we use enough with nouns. Remember that it is a degree that we are, a, 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 let's say, measuring here, okay? Giving a measure of the degree because it's an adverb, but it's also an adjective too, okay? It becomes an adjective too. No nos vamos a complicar mucho en entender eh, cuándo es un adjetivo, cuándo es un adverbio. Sin embargo, lo vamos a ver en el uso, lo van a ir comprendiendo en el uso. Entonces, vamos a ver los ejemplos. Let's look at the examples. We have the first example. The company does not have enough information about the customers to understand their needs. Per company, right? Per company. Why? Because they don't have enough information. Okay, if they don't have enough information, they should do a better research, right? So let's look at the negative thing here. Does not because it's the company, right? So we are conjugating these have in a negative way. If it were affirmative, the company has enough information, all right? Negative. The company does not have enough information. So it can be affirmative, it can be negative. In affirmative, we are saying it has the right degree. With the negative, we are saying that it has less, okay? Less of something, uh, any qualification, any amount of something, whatever, okay? We are talking that enough with negative is less than the necessary, okay? So let's look at the next one. We signed enough promotions to create a short-term increase in sales, short-term increase in sales, okay? So this is like an strategy, right? This is like an strategy for short, for a short term, yeah. So let's say, let's see it again. We designed past tense okay, enough promotions. So we can use it in any tense according to the action that we are describing. But what we are describing is the degree or mm, let's say, yeah, the right degree or the right amount of something. So we designed enough promotions to create a short-term increase in sales. Okay, let's look at the third one. This strategy may be used to distribute enough products, okay? This strategy may be used to distribute enough products. So we are creating a new strategy, okay? to enhance the distribution process. Okay, now more products, right? Or the right amount of products for each store, for each distributor or whatever, they, whoever needs the product, it's going to have enough available. Now, the store needs to sell enough items to continue in business. The store, needs to sell, ah, describing the selling. What do they have to sell? Enough items to continue in business, okay? It's decreasing, right? So they have to um, level up the sales. All right, next one. There were not enough experts to perform the task. There were not enough experts to perform the task, okay? Not enough people specialized in the 
activity they needed. All right, so let's look at enough goes before the noun. You see, enough plus the noun. Okay. Imagínense que aquí fuera informative, informative instead of information. Ya no sería un nombre, ¿verdad? Sería un adjetivo. It will be an adjective. Una cualidad. Informativo, right? Informative. Entonces, tenemos que ponerlo antes porque sería un adjetivo. Ok, entonces, fijémonos bien. Let's look carefully. We use enough plus the noun. All right? So let's go and see some vocabulary here. Yesterday we were talking about the promotion strategies. Promotion strategies. And we said that uh, the promotion strategies included advertising, personal selling or personal sales, sales promotion, Sponsor, sponsor, like you are paying for any space for someone else, right? You are giving money for someone else, right? Or giving the space, in this case. Public relations, public relations. So by association, let's do the much. Let's do the much here. Okay. Now you read it. Let's read the definitions. Promotions designed to create a short term increase in sales. Building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, and the public. Sales interaction between the firm's representative and the customer on a one-to-one -one basis. A form of marketing that employs an openly sponsored message to promote or sell a product. A person or an organization that provides funds for an activity carried, carried out by another. All right. I will mute myself and please take the initiative and you are going to do the match here by association of words.
Ernesto. What is advertising? Wait, uh, advertising is a form of marketing that employs in an openly sponsored message to prom promote or sell a product. Very good, thank you very much. Now, Elias, number two, what are personal sales? Elias? All right, Carlos Alberto, what are personal sales? Mr. Kevin Alfredo? Uh, two personal sales is sales interaction between the firm's representative and a consumer one-on-one -on -one to one ba base basis. Very good. Very good. What are the sales promotion, Mr. Boris? It's a uh, promotion the same to create a short increase in, some, in sales. And sales, in sales. All right, so, thank you very much, thank you. Okay, I know, uh, okay, Hosman, what's sponsor? What's a sponsor? A sponsor is a person and organization that provide funds for an activity carried out by another. All right, very good. So now the number five, number five, please Edwin, what are public relations? Uh, the public relations are building a positive relationship between the organization, the media, the media and the public and the public, all right, very good. So in this case, we are relating some terms uh, with the promotion strategies. If you are trying to promote your product, you are going to use the advertising in the mass media, you or any kind of media, maybe the social networks, what else? Mm, newspapers are mass media too. Um, magazines, selective media, right? And let's say any kind of, maybe electronicals like email, they are personalized or customized, but um, they can be also massive, right? Worldwide, worldwide if you send emails, uh, promotional emails too, and or informative emails. Now the personal sales, um, we have talked, I think, enough about the um, uh, personal selling. The personal selling, I think, is like um, uh, backbone, right? It's backbone in a company because um, it's the final sell, right? You, you put or you make available the product to the final consumer, the final consumer. So the personal sales are just like the last a hook on the chain, right? They are the last hook on the chain to distribute the product. Now let's talk about the sales promotion. Mm, this is very important. We were talking that Neveria has two for one, Mr. Donut has two for one, two on September. Uh, maybe you can take uh, the second, pair of shoes with the 50% less, right? As a discount. So that's a sale promotion. That's a sale promotion. And the purpose is to increase the sales in short periods of time, short periods of time. Maybe you really need 
to turn to do the turnover, right, of the um, of the stock. So you um, implement a sales promotion like Walmart does. Walmart does a lot of sales promotion when they have mm, too much in their storage. Um, let's think about sponsoring. Maybe your company buys the uniforms of um, a football team or a soccer team, right? Uh, public relations, actually, they are events everywhere, news everywhere. You create interest about, uh, through the public relations. You can use the mass media. You can use any kind of um, media to approach to the customers, to approach to people. All right, people. So these are the... Mm, let's say five words that we wanted to see. All of these are nouns, okay? Does your company have enough advertising? Does your company have enough advertising? What do you think? Do they have enough advertising? Do they have enough advertising? Okay, let's think about one product in the market. One product in the market. That one that you say, ay, ya aburre ese, ese comercial, a ver. There, there was a, how do you say this word? Um, okay, let's do this. I need to check this out. I don't remember if the word was hakaranda. I, 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 no. No, now I remember. Sochikali. Do you remember that um, commercial? It was like a, this is a, a, um, a place where they sell plants, like a nursery garden or something like that. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Sochikali? They had enough in that time when I remember they had that uh, spots on television, on radio, wherever you go, you see, you saw Sochikali, tan, 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 Sochikali. And uh, they repeated a lot of name because they wanted to position the brand and the mind of the customers, right? And I can remember the people said, uh, for example, oh, Sajikali, right? Well, actually, in my job, it was. Now, is there any other? Is there any other product that you yeah, that you could say? Ah, es que aburren con ese anuncio. Pizza Hut. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe the Pizza Hut. The Pizza Hut. Promotion. The promotion. Uh, Five dollars. One ingredient, <laughs> pepperoni. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, good. Uh huh. Well, for example, you are scrolling down and up to in your Facebook or Twitter, right? You're scrolling, so and you find the same, the same time after time again. You see the same spot. Do you remember one? Don't you remember? <laughs> Not at this moment. After the class, you will remember, I think. After the class, you will remember. <laughs> Maybe not now because we are kind of tired. I understand. <laughs> I really understand. Okay, but look, for example, there are um, these um, 
a commercials from the government, okay? From the government, they just say, oh, again? And they are always doing this uh, advertisement because that's uh, not exactly, mm, let's say, mm, let me to check this word for you because I want to be sure of saying it correctly. Some of, the, some of the productions are really great, but some of the productions are kind of boring, right? Where, where they speak too much, the text is too long, and maybe there, are no, there is only one uh, image time after time, right? Mm -hmm. So, Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, from the government or I can't find any right now, but for example, from Super Selectors, have you seen any commercial recently? From Super Selectors? What do they, what do they inform? What do they include in their messages. ¿Qué es lo que normalmente llevan los comerciales de Super Select? The prices of products. The prices of products, the promotions, right? The sales promotion. Do they have enough sales promotions and Super Selectors? Yeah, uh, just the more the brochure for the promotion, different promotion. Oh yes, those flyers, right? When you go yeah. to the supermarket and the entrance, you can get one just to follow what and offerings, yeah, the bargains. Yes, you're right, good, sales promotion. Uh, what about Pharmacia San Nicolas? Have you seen a commercial recently? What elements do they include in their commercials? Will include the prices and food mm -hmm. and the uh, milliliters. <laughs> okay, the amount, yeah, the sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the promotion, uh, mm -hmm. for example, uh, mm -hmm. $10, the bottle, the uh, 15 milliliters, uh, but uh, if you buy uh, the $30 mm -hmm. uh, for the cost, uh, it's not double. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh -huh. But it has uh, a discount. Uh, they offer uh, a discount. Uh, yes, a uh, less mm -hmm. price. Uh, all right. Like, for example, with the complex B, right? Mm, the B complex. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are some spots that they uh, just upload a video, any an expert, an expert video. Yeah. Um, we could say an elaborated video. Uh, you just get your phone and make a video of any action in the company, and then you upload it, and it creates interest about something that is happening in the company. Maybe a sales promotion, maybe there is an event that you're inviting for, maybe you are sponsoring another event from another people, but your brand is right there. So you can create this uh, through social media. That's public relations too. That's public relations because you are because you are expecting for a reaction, a comment, right? For views, and uh, it's like an, the answer from the public to your company. So I sent through WhatsApp just an image they sent, right? About Farmacia San Nicolas, right? This is in Mexicanos, it said. Yeah, mm -hmm. there was a healthy fair. Yeah. Healthy fair. Is there any trouble? No? What happened? 
he got scared for something. All right, so if you see that thing in the headline, dice que hay un evento, ¿verdad? En esa eh, unidad, en esa, perdón, ranch de Farmacia San Nicolás. And people always are interested in this kind of event. All right, people, so how can we transform an adjective to a noun or a noun to an adjective. Uh, this is to understand or to apply a, the correct grammar, okay? So allow me just to show you a short table. This is a chart uh, where you will see about adjectives first, okay? We will see some um, endings that um, make an adjective, I mean, a noun like an adjective or the word that ends with these suffix, uh, you will see that it is, it is an adjective. So it's talking about a quality of something or, or someone, right? Let's look at this table. For example, we have adjectives with suffix like this ones. And here we've got some examples, yeah? We've got some examples. For example, able and able or able, right? So it will be compre comprehensible, understandable, yeah? Comfortable, predictable, visible, all right? These are qualities with this suffix. We can have other kind of adjectives like all or I'll, okay? Or yal, right? In this case, facial, commercial, industrial, comical, natural, yeah? We add this, we are describing the quality of someone or of something. Full, uh, beautiful, colorful, hopeful, helpful, right? Let's see with ick. Who wants to read this ones? Everybody, read them. Classic. Mm -hmm. Classic. Heroic. Mm -hmm. Maniac. Maniac, maniac. yeah. Uh -huh. But this is maniac. Yeah, maniac. but all right. Mm -hmm. Robotic. 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 Mm -hmm. Strategic. 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 Okay. Strategic. Strategic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now with echo. Classical. Classical. Comical. Philosophical. Philosophical. Hysterical. Hysterical. No, because it's with ik at the end. So it, it will be, oh yeah, strategic. Yeah, strategic, strategic. Thank you, strategic. I say strategic, but it's the strategic. All right, there we go. I have my dictionary, my walking dictionary around, okay? Ish, ish, girlish. Girlish, uh -huh. hellish, selfish, uh -huh. selfish, yellowish, yellowish, kind Child. of yellow, right? Childish, childish, mm -hmm. Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. Okay, look, ish means like a piece of it or something tiny or a kind of painted, right? Así como un untado de verdad, pero ish. Pero Spanish is not that. Spanish, it's because of Spain, all right? It's because Spain is the noun, and then Spanish is the adjective for the noun Spain. All right, let's say, let's see. Is an adjective, right? So let's say, attractive, competitive, sensitive, creative, imperative. You see, these are adjectives, 
with less means that um, they don't have this quality, okay? Or they have just, no, let's say without, without the quality. So it will be childless, not like a child, right? Or doubtless, doubtless. Doubtless, no doubt, okay, no doubt. Questionless, no question. Priceless, no price for that. It's unpayable, right? We cannot pay for, uh, for that thing because it's priceless, it's too valuable. Okay, now we can see use IOs, O's, right? Like outrageous, ferocious, adventurous, herbaceous, okay? Um, then we have e eh and li, yeah? Angry, because the noun is anger, right? Angry. Um, hungry, grumpy, right? Um, let's say, you can't see very well, like corny, yeah? And cloudy, cloudy. Now we have antenant, confident competent or competent, I'm sorry, efficient, efficient, dominant, yeah, dominant. So we have confident, competent, efficient, and dominant. Oh my good. Oof, it's a very long list, yeah. And when the word is longer, well, we have to find where is that stress. Okay, then, these are suffix, but there are others that goes at the beginning of the word, okay? There are others that maybe we have the noun, and then we make, or they become from a verb instead of a noun, yeah? Hay unos adjetivos que provienen de verbos, no exactamente de nombres, ¿verdad? Uh, por ejemplo, uh, we have the... Uh, Practice, practical, mm, we could say mm, practically, yeah? Practi practical and practically. Uh, let's say another thing with mm, ing or ed, okay? Cuando viene de un verbo, le podemos agregar ing or ed. Les voy a pasar un link en donde ustedes van a tener ahí, ese sitio tiene bastantes um, tablas, digamos, que pueden ustedes usar como guía en el momento que busquemos, bueno, es adjetivo, es nombre, uso enough antes, uso el adjective antes, uso el adverb antes, ok, pero el verb antes de enough. Entonces, les voy a pasar el, el, el link para que eh, Los chequeamos. Ya verás que no sé por qué siempre sale esa image. But tell me, are you able to go to the site? Did you get the site? Teacher, también en WhatsApp. Eh, no, I, I didn't send it yet. So I will send it right now. Strategic, yeah. Okay, I'm still thinking about it. Mm, I lost it. Okay, I sent it through WhatsApp too. Are you there yet, guys? Yes. Okay, yes, I'm to in. get there too. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, scroll down, scroll down and you will see uh, from verbs, okay? Forming adjectives from verbs. There you're gonna find the meaning, the suffix or the suffix that you are gonna use. Okay, for example, we have the verbs act, create, talk, and attract with if, right? Attractive, active, creative, talkative, um, and so on. That's causing effect, it says. Now, able and able, able or can do, read, readable, uh, speak, speakable, break, breakable, enjoy, enjoyable, right? We can add the, uh, the suffix full to talk about something complete or something full of that um, action, like play, playful. We could say also um, when this comes from a noun, we can say color, colorful, right? From beauty comes beautiful, yeah, and so on. It can come from a verb or from a noun. Yeah, we can form adjectives, we can form nouns, okay? We are just identifying the verbs, the adjectives and the nouns. So antonyms, performing agent uh, will be obey, obedient, resist, resistant, expect, expectant, please, pleasant, okay? Uh, but you have to see something that may be the pronunciation uh, changes in the stress syllable because it becomes longer, okay? It becomes longer. So we need to uh, change just a little bit in some of the words, okay? Ahí les queda ese sitio para que lo puedan ustedes consultar al momento que quieran eh, definir, era adjetivo, era nombre, era verbo, o sea, que de dónde viene, cómo se forma. Okay, you may go right there. Now, we are going to do some exercise. Oh, it's 9.13, guys. Today, nobody told me about the eh, attendance, right? I'm sorry, and I apologize. So now I, I will take the attendance. Please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you say an adjective and um, one second. And the noun that you are describing, okay? So for example, beautiful animal, mm, okay? We have the adjective and we have the noun, remember? Okay, describing. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Presente. Okay, adjective and noun. Mr. Álvaro? Uh, adjective. Mm -hmm. Describing a noun. For example, I can say beautiful animal, uh, bright, full, or bright sun, right? Something like that. The animal? I describe the animal? No, you can describe anything. Describe. Okay, usted va a decir una cosa, pero la va a describir con un adjetivo. Por ejemplo, okay. yo puedo, I could say, beautiful animal, bright sun, uh, cloudy day, okay, something like my, that. My dog is cute. Oh, very good, a cute dog. Very good, thank you. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Expensive dress. Very good. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, beautiful flower. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Uh -huh. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Uh, comfortable. Okay, comfortable. Comfortable. My car is comfortable. 
All right, comfortable car. Very good, comfortable car. Great. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Yeah. Comprehensible book. Very good. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Yes, uh, the light production is efficient. Okay, efficient life production. Very good. All right, Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. I don't know if I don't know if they wrote anything in the messages. Have you seen the messages from Elias? All right. Okay. Eulise Torres Torres. Oh, he's a listener too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, good. Good decision. You Great. decide. Very good. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro. Miss Fatima. Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Present teacher. Um, uh, an interesting book. Oh, great. Uh -huh. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. A uh, big house. Very good. Josman Atilio Serrano. Classical music. Great. Uh -huh. Karen Iset Sanchez Castro. Miss Karen. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Peaceful person. Great. Not me, right? Not me. <laughs> okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Mm, the red car. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Mm, uh, blue ocean. Very good. Good. Uh -huh. Santiago Roberto Calderona Velar. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Lovely music. Great. Okay, people. So when we describe something, we Teacher, write. Tell me a little. I don't. Bit. I don't hear my name. Oh. Sorry. Okay, then I will call you Elias Neftali Martinez Gonzalez. Uh, my smartphone is expensive. Okay, an expensive smartphone. An expensive smartphone, okay. Very good, very good. So now we are going to do some exercises to practice enough with nouns or adjectives, depending on what it says, okay? So let's go right there. Yeah. And this is taking this is taken from um, an external source. All right. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We have to use enough with the information we've got in mm, the parentheses. Here we've got two examples. One is with a noun and the other is with an adjective. Look, enough money. I don't have enough money to go shopping. Are you old enough to get a driver's license? Okay, let's read the number three and let's try to do it, everybody. My old it's car too is too slow. It is not fast enough. 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 Okay.
fast. Uh, I think we can do it uh, modifying the, the PDF. One second. We'll modify with the text that's easier. Okay, fast. And then we're right here, you know. Very good. Now, number four. Yes, yes, yes there are. There are, there are elves and no. And no X. And no elves. Complete it. Switch because eggs is a noun. Yes, there are enough <laughs> eggs to bake a cake. Yes, we need to give the amount of these things, right? The necessary amount of eggs to bake a cake. Hmm? How many eggs? I don't know, maybe eight <laughs> for a carrot. I'm sorry, for a carrot cake. Mm, let's say eight eggs, something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I can't delete the words. <laughs> uh, okay, you need to use the eraser. Control I don't know thing. if you see it. Okay. Uh huh. Well, actually, I can't because you did it. I don't know why. I can. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, who wants to do number five? Is it warm? Is enough to go to the beach today? Mm -hmm. It's warm. It's warm enough. Uh -huh. Acordémonos de la pronunciación. Is it enough? Oh, no, this is warm enough. Uh -huh. Continue, Kevin. Continue. It's okay. Enough. Enough. Mm -hmm. Where can I find enough people for the game? Exactly. Kevin, where are you? Uh, I'm going to complete the six. All right, uh, go ahead. I'm not learning. Where can I find, I find uh, enough people for the game? Enough. Enough, no, no tengan enough. miedo de pronunciarlo como así una O A y como una F. Enough. People. Mm -hmm. There you go. Number seven. Oh, teacher never give up. And of this. Yes, because tests is a noun, a plural one, right? It's plural and it's a noun. Okay, number eight. I'm not strong enough to open this book. Sugar. Yes, number nine. Is there enough sugar? Exactly. We are talking about the right amount of it. Mm -hmm. Is your tea sweet enough? Mm -hmm. Eleven. I don't feel well. Will 
I will not. Very good. 12. Is your room bright enough? Is the room bright enough? Very good. Number 13. You should remember to drink enough water. Yes, the right amount of it, right? Mm -hmm. It's a noun, water. Fourteen. Is there enough? <laughs> no problem. Is there enough space to do our work? And... Very good. Mm -hmm. And number 15. Um, do you have enough coins mm -hmm. for the bus? Correct. There you are. So now we see enough plus noun and adjective plus enough. Okay. Adjective plus enough and enough plus noun. So let's read the sentences again. I don't have enough money to go shopping. So you will read number two. Remember to read it in the normal speed. Everybody, are you all enough to get a driver's license? Are you all enough to get driver li license? To get a to get a driver's to license. Get a driver's. Mm -hmm. To get a driver's license. Okay. Everybody, number three. My old car is too slow. It car is too fast slow. Enough. It is fast enough. fast enough. Very good. Let's read it again all together. My old car is too slow. My Everybody. Old, my, old, my, old my old car is, is too slow. slow. It isn't fast, it isn't enough. fast enough. enough. Number four. Yes. Yes. Very good. Number five. Is it warm enough to go to the beach today? To go to the beach today. Very good. Number six. Where can I find enough people to the game? Number seven. Our, our teacher, teacher never gives us give us enough, enough tests. tests. Number eight. I'm, I'm not, not strong enough, enough to open this box. Number nine. Is there, Is there enough, enough sugar in your tea? Your tea? Okay. Number ten. Is your tea sweet enough? Enough. Enough. Okay. Eleven. I don't feel, I do I well, feel enough enough well enough to go to the school today. today. Okay, number 12. Is the room bright, bright enough? enough? Number enough. 13. You should remember you should to drink enough water. water. Number 14. Is there enough, Is there enough, enough space, space to work? Okay, and the 15. Do you, Do you have, have, have enough for the bus? For the bus, for the bus. yes. But Is there any question about the vocabulary in these sentences? Uh, about the 12th sentence, uh, how do you pronounce wow. bring, bring, I don't know. This one, bright. Yeah. Bright. 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 Mm -hmm. Bright enough, bright enough. Mm -hmm. When you link the sound, you say bright enough. But when you say just the word, it's bright. Yeah. Because it's linked to a vowel sound. Is there any other question? This is the homework classmate. 
Uh huh. Okay, this is the situation. Now we are going to the to the breakout rooms to create a message attractive enough about a product that we are mm, uh, creating the promotion strategy. Okay. And we want to send this message, but you will say which uh, which uh, will be your promotion strategy uh, to deliver the message to the customers, okay? So you will say, for example, you create the message and then you are going to say, our strategy is to advertise the product in the mass media and this and this time, right? Maybe in the stellar time at 8 p.m. or after the news or during the news. Um, so this is that you have to be creative, all right? You have to be creative. You will create the promotion strategy for a product. You decide which one. A renown will be the best. Um, and create the message, not too long. And then you create um, the strategy where you are going to promote the message, how to deliver the message to the customers. Are we okay? Do you get it? All right. I think I get it. Okay. Hello? Teacher, can you repeat the instruction, please? Okay, create a message, an attractive mm -hmm. message describing a product, and it will be for a promotion strategy of this product. It could be a renowned national product if you want in the market, right? One existing in the market. Okay. And then you will create the promotion strategy, how to deliver the message to the customer. Okay. Oh, okay. You, you will say if you are going to use the um, 
uh, advertisements, yeah. advertisement in the mass media or the social media, whatever you want to do with your message, where you are going to put it to get to your target market, then you are going to explain that. Okay, okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. First, uh, decide what product. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Any idea? For example, Pizza Hut. Um, order, order. Um, Pizza Hut have to pay for the advertisement. Advertising. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pizza Hut. Okay. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Alvaro. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay, um, Carlos Alberto, Jose Salvador, Boris. You guys have to create a message, okay? Attractive message describing a product or as a part of a promotion strategy, okay? Como un mensaje para promocionar, para eh, la publicidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, you will explain uh, where you were going to promote this message to deliver the message to the customer, right? And uh, like creating the promotion strategy, okay? Uh, teacher, for example, uh, digital promotion? Yes, you can do one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just any product, and then you are going to say how you are going to promote your product. But remember that you have to create a um, short and sticky um, message describing the product or the features of your product, right? Okay. Okay, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Hello. Uh, we we create the message to the a new product or a, or a technology product okay uh, let me see what is your what is the opinion the the team the team yes the this team this Boris in Jose <laughs> yes uh, I, I don't know man because we have a problem for connection oh. okay okay Boris is is there is here Okay, este, for example, uh, the, the promotion, uh, for example, a Simon, a holiday mom? Yes. Uh, can, um, be, can be that. The, the product is a... Um, uh, the refrigerator or the, or the, or the kitchen? 
don't yeah. know. Okay. Yes, uh, let me see. Uh, Let's talk. What? So, stove instead of kitchen, it's stove, la cocina. Ah, right? stove, yes, yeah. it's the stove. stove. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, I know. <laughs> yes. I a stove, teacher? Yeah, stove. Yes. stove. A stove, a stove. Yes. Okay. Okay, stuff. Mm, Mave. The Mave stop. Yes. The Mave stop is very simple for kitchen. Sample. Can be that teacher. Yes, of course. Keep it simple and keep it sticky for everybody to remember the words, right? Your description. A description. Okay, I can be can be the. But that one is good. The, that the, one is good the, because the you say, uh, mave stuff. Uh huh. Mave stuff is is easy for kitchen or family. Okay, easy. Can be that. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then, and then, beautiful, beautiful kit. Yes. It the it the line black the white line. Yes, beautiful kit. Uh, uh only that mom. It's the promotion can be in this moment is the offered uh twenty five percent off. Very good. Awesome. Don't pay more. Mm -hmm. Pay less for mob stuff. Okay, continue, guys. Now you have to um, decide what media are you going to use to deliver the message to your customers, okay? Uh, the promotion is a, a applicate a, a on, only that online sale. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Boris, what do you think? Salvador, what do you think about it? Vamos a crear como un lema. Yes, exactly, Salvador. Yes. Okay, people, continue working. I'm going to check another group. group Spark class number one in the world. Um, could be many people prefer our brand because it's soft and I write in the chat right now.
Okay. Um, our broad is a sport clothes number one in the world. Okay. Claro. We need to promotion it the place. But we don't have a place. Um what about the strategies? Just in promotion or or place, pro price? I believe that uh, we need food. The advertising were share the promotion. Promotion is one advertising on social media. And maybe you can uh, put an advertising outside the the restaurant or the place or when where uh, the public uh, sell. So I care of myself strategies. Thanks, teacher. I was thinking thinking in social media, but. Is but we are distracted with this. Ay, es que no conozco. Por traditional pizza. O for two for traditional pizza. One ingredient. Pero esas son más baratas. Es, entonces, mm -hmm. three. Ah, three. Ok. Or three. Uh, traditional. Or three traditional. Pizza. Traditional pizza is uh, one ingredient. One yeah. ingredient, yeah. Right. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, two, 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 okay. Or... Um, 
one ingredient. Of one. Oh, okay, okay. Good. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, dear class, uh, we are going to start from room four and then we are going to get to room one, all right? We are inverting the order. So room four was formed by Ana Lorena, Carlos Ernesto, Jose Miguel, and Kevin Alfredo. Okay, you may share. Teacher just have a question. Tell me. Thread is correct. Or yes, thread. it is. No, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, our group, our, our group, uh, talk about the uh, dessert and our sentence to public is a flavory treat for a special moment. And we have uh, the idea uh, about this promotion is for enjoy in family or friends. Uh, we have mm, some cell strategies. Uh, the the first strategy is, is about the promotion, and is advertising on on mass media media. Uh, the two the second strategy is pay two and enjoy three uh, this this strategy is about the price uh, the third strategy is a lot of billboards this strategy is about the promotion and the four strategies is is about the promotion and and it is flyers on bus stops very good and really attractive very attractive that image that you chose it's really attractive and it sounds good the promotion okay and the pronunciation for this is flavory treat treat mm -hmm. Flavor, flavory treat. Treat for special Good. moments. Mm -hmm. And Thank I you. love this one because it's exactly with the topic we are studying because we know it's never enough. Good. Mm -hmm. There we have <laughs> two adverbs, right? Never and enough. 
Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to the group number three. Okay, group number three was formed by Edwin, Rafael, Wilber, and Fatima. Okay, please share. Um, we don't have a, a, a much time. Yeah, okay, but... Um, <laughs> but we try mm -hmm. it. Yes, what, what you conclude, right? Your conclusions. Okay, uh, for this brand, when there are more clouds, uh, this brand is thinking about to this, the people who work out. And uh, this is for Cloud is the number one in the world uh, because uh, the characteristic for this clothes could be comfortable, fresh, and soft when the people work out. Uh, sometimes uh, we can offer a, a 25% to discount in all the clothes. Uh, we talk about uh, shorts, uh, pants, um, t shirt and another one could be um, a, a two for one uh, the, on the weekend in all cells or, or branch. That could be for this. All right, very good, very good. I sent you a message, I don't know if you received it because my idea when I saw this, this is really nice. I think you, did, you, you didn't have enough time to think a little more, but you did a very good job here. Uh, but uh, what is missing here is, is the promotion strategy, how you're going to deliver the message to the customer. And then I, I thought about the message. I don't know if you received it. Si lo recibieron. Okay, I wrote, do, uh, I imagine. Okay, look, I imagine the spot, maybe two um, people in the, in the gym, maybe in the, okay, in a machine, any machine, right? And maybe on a bike, wherever. And then the other one is just looking at the person, right? Uh, like admiring the clothes that the other person is using, is wearing. So uh, I, I wrote, don't ask your neighbor, feel how it fits try it yourself, right? I was imagining with you guys, I didn't want to put my, <laughs> my idea over there, but I think about this pots and everything, right? About the pricing, it's a very good strategy to offer a 25% discount. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Thank you very much, guys. So tomorrow we will uh, we, we'll continue with these activities. So remember number one and number two, okay? And is there any question so far about the vocabulary, the grammar structures we studied today? Is there any question? It's clear. All right, very Thank good, you, Nelson. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, so you... Hello, Boris. See you, see you tomorrow. Okay, then. Karen, are you still with us? Is Karen still connected? I don't see Karen. Do you She's see gone. Karen? She's gone, right? Okay, then. We have available the spot to, um, if you have any question or doubts or comments that you want to talk to your teacher 10 minutes after the class. Everything's <laughs> Okay, good. I'm dependent. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Salvador. You did it. Yeah. The man of the year today. <laughs> Thank you, Salvador. All right. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Boris Alexander Cortés. Presente, presente, presente. Uh, okay, okay, Álvaro. <laughs> Great. All right. Allow me to check you in. And I'll check you out, right? <laughs> All right. Today is Wednesday, May the 31st. Right. Thank you, Álvaro. And we said Ana Lorena, right? Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortés Cáceres. That, that last name will be in English like Cartes, right? Like Cartes. Remember when I told you about Perez? Yeah, Perez. And uh, this one is like Cartes, the pronunciation. All right, one second. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Elias Neftali Martinez González. Present. Eulice Torres Torres. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Okay. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay, Karen Lizette San Sanchez Castro. She connected back. Not yet. Okay, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. All right. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Here. Okay. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Here, teacher. Okay, Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present. Very good. So remember to do your homework, okay? Yes. And let us meet tomorrow at 8 p.m. So have a very good night, everybody. Have a good See night. You. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. See you, okay. night, See you tomorrow. Night, night. Have a good night. Tell me, Rafael. Salvador. Oh, Here. perdón. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Hello, Salvador. Tell me. No me llamó y estoy aquí. Ah, didn't I? Oh, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Mr. Jose Salvador. Yes. Thank you very much for letting me know, Salvador. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. You too, Jose. Bye. Bye, Santiago. Bye, Álvaro.